GLWA Customer Outreach. I'm Teresa Weed Newman, and I'm a lead facilitator for the Great Lakes Water Authority Customer Outreach Program. We've been at this since 2003, and when we began, we were in the water wars. Today, we are one water. Well, as for, I'm a customer of Detroit Obvious, or a GLWA, and we would make requests of, it was the DWC back in the day, and they would basically be ignored a lot of times. So if we'd want information, it'd be very hard to come by. If we suggested changes, they would be not listened to, ignored. Um, and it's a totally different situation today. Some of the uh, older issues were, there were certain subjects that were sacred. Some of the harder questions they wouldn't field. And now uh, when the facilitators are present, they understand um, what we're trying to get to and uh, they facilitate getting those questions answered. The financial uh, community, the investors in the, in, the, in the bonds for the authority, uh, in the past may have been concerned about whether or not Detroit was going to be able to keep customers on board in terms of contractual customers. And with the outreach program, it's really a customer-led uh, management of the organization, which uh, enhances the credibility of the, of the entire financial plan. Sue McCormick, who is our CEO, says that people support what they create. And there's no question that the customer communities were integral to the creation of the Great Lakes Water Authority. Their, their voice was heard all through the process. Uh, whether it's capital planning, master planning, uh, rates, regional cooperation, or operations and maintenance. This process has helped shape the Great Lakes Water Authority in the past and will continue to do so in the future. Well, things weren't working when, when uh, both Gary Brown and I realized that, that uh, uh, they were confusing rates uh, in, in the MOU, uh, 4%. I mean, that really was a halcyon moment. And at that point in time, I knew that we had to, to do something better than, than what we were doing now. When the uh, process was finally determined that the Great Lakes Water Authority was going to be created, um, I had a very positive sensation. I was actually part of the creation of the Great Lakes Water Authority. Uh, the information that was being provided, um, how the authority was going to be created, was just a tremendous feeling for uh, not only YCUA, but all the contra contract communities. It would be that we have people from, at the time, DWSD and local communities that had sort of been in a very distrustful situation with one another, a bad relationship, sitting down at the table working collaboratively. When I began to see that happen, that's when I knew we had turned a corner. Probably the model contract was one of the initial vehicles to really start to facilitate that change and create that trust and acceptance between the parties. Well, the wholesale uh, model water contract, uh, early in that process, um, there was kind of a straw poll given and the, you know, the people in attendance were basically asked to get on one side of the room to think, you know, do you think we're going to get to a, a contract here or not? And it was pretty unanimous that the issues were too great that it probably wasn't going to happen. And yet, here it is, you know, not that many years after that event that uh, the majority of the customers actually do uh, have a model contract. Uh, well, I could speak for our community, the city of Farmington Hills, um, in that over the last decade, we have been able to capitalize on um, uh, the terms of the model contract and being able to construct storage in our community and reduce our peak hour demand and realize some significant rate savings for our community. So the major benefit, I think it is really shared decision making and constant communication so that there aren't surprises that we, uh, at GLWA, from the GLWA perspective, we get to know and understand different perspectives before decisions are made. Well, I think we, we, we're getting along better. As, since the formation of the Great Lakes Water Authority, I think we've really, we've improved relations, we've improved collaboration between the communities. It's just more opportunity to voice your issues and, and uh, the more opportunity is, the better people feel about it. And, and uh, I think we're getting along better than we had in the past, dramatically. I'm very grateful for the history of collaboration that has been in place for some number of years now. It really strengthens the ability of this utility to serve its member communities. 
The fact that we can work together in an environment where there's mutual respect, there's free sharing of ideas and concerns, and that we can work towards collaborative solutions really positions us well to be the utility of choice, the provider of choice for all of our member communities. 44 TAC meetings held, 13 plus years of continuous progress.